In this demonstration, we're going to have a look at how we can use a script to provision new mailboxes with correct configuration. So what I want to do here is I want to create a new mailbox database for IT, also for managers. What we're then going to do is we're going to take these two settings here. We're going to create a new mailbox database on server lon ax1 hyphen name dollar underscore just means go through the list. We're then going to mount those databases again dollar underscore go through the list. Finally, what we're going to do is we're going to restart the exchange information store. So all we'll do at this point here is we'll just highlight these commands. We'll hit the F8 key. That'll then go away and it'll then run through this little script. Now this is going to take a little while, so at this point here I'm just going to pause the demonstration and return back once everything is created. So what we can see now, we've created the mailbox database for IT, we've created the mailbox database for managers on server lon AX1. Recovery is currently set to false, don't have a DAG, replication type none, don't have a DAG. So if we scroll down a little bit, Next thing to do here is what we're going to do is we're going to have a look at the mailbox database copy status or in other words we're just going to check to see what's mounted what's not mounted let's have a look at the indexes as well. So as we can see here all of my mailbox databases are mounted like I said don't have a DAG I'm not really bothered about the content index state building an index at the current uh, moment in time so I'm not too fussed about that. Same as the content index status for managers, not too worried about that just yet either. If I came back in a little bit and checked a little bit later on, I'd probably find these would all be sitting at healthy. Right, so if we scroll this down a little bit, so we've now done that. So we've now created the databases and we've mounted the databases. And what we've also done as well is we've also restarted the information store. So the final part that Microsoft have in their little demo script here is got ISE, so integrated scripting environment. And what we want to do at this point here is we want to run this lab file as mod04 demo code lesson03 demo provisioning mailboxes. And that's going to do exactly what its name suggests here. It's then going to create mailboxes on those mailbox databases we've just created. So that's going to go away now. It's going to go through and it's going to provision some mailboxes. So... So if we scroll this down, probably just heard a ding there, just telling me that everything is working correctly. So if we just have a look at this point here, what we're doing within this script here, it's going to start creating users for IT managers marketing. So what we're going to do at this point here, we're now going to go through and we're just going to have a look at getting a collection of the users who don't currently have mailboxes. So we're going to do dollar depth equals at and then IT managers and marketing. So we'll just run that. Then what we're going to do at this point here, we're going to specify all of our AD users. So we're creating some variables here. So we're going to get hyphen user, hyphen recipient type details, user, and we're going to select the first 50. Now that we've done that, we're going to loop through the user collection and we're going to create, as it says here, we're going to write the host processing user in department, whatever the department is that comes from our variables that we've created. It's going to loop through. It's then going to start creating and sending emails to these users. So what we'll do is we'll just highlight our script to start with. And I'll just run this up a little bit just so I can get it not scroll too far past there. Hit the F8 key and now what it's doing, it's now creating users in the various departments. So we've got this little script at this point here. So it's looking for any users in the departments that we specified earlier up here. So on the departments where IT managers and marketing. Then what we're going to do with our AD users is we're going to start creating mailboxes for the Active Directory users. So that's going to go through. That's going to take quite a while to run through that script. So at that point, this is the end of the demonstration. Thank you.